channel. Today is another Sunday in the Barreto home and I'm going to be preparing lunch for the kids and more and more I am trying to uncomplicate my life by preparing two dishes a day for Sundays so that I can cook for them and at the same time I'm not so stressed and I can join them for lunch in peace and in calm. Did you know that October is the month of pasta? Imagine that. Of course, in my household, every month is pasta month. But October is special because it's the month of pasta. And because we are celebrating that, I am going to share with you today my, my favorite pasta recipe of all time. You see that normally I would be sharing with you recipes that my children love. But today, it's going to be about me and my favorite. And my favorite is something that is very easy to follow. We need very little ingredients and it's packed in nutrients. It's very easy to make on a busy weekday or even on a weekend. Today, I'm preparing my favorite pasta puttanesca. The very simple ingredients for pasta puttanesca, very important, is our Doña Elena pure olive oil. Okay, this is the perfect variant for sauteing because aside from making the dish tastier, Doña Elena olive oil is a great source of folic acid that helps to boost the immune system. That is true. It makes our dish tastier plus healthier. Very good health investment, okay? We're going to need some diced tomato. You can use fresh. You can use canned, diced, or um, stewed tomatoes, whatever you want. But today, I'm using the one in the can. And then you need olives, pitted black. Black olives. You need green olives and capers. Okay, I love capers and olives. And very important also ingredient is anchovies in pure olive oil too. Because I also use a little bit of their oil. Lots of minced garlic. Look at this. Red chili flakes. Oh, this is going to make it so much better. Rock salt, a little bit of rock salt, and pepper. Not that much, huh? That's my lalagyan. And of course, today, my favorite pasta is linguine noodles. I like it kasi buong buo. I like, I like how it is. And then, optional, basil for freshness, and parsley for garnishing. So these are the ones that you saw in the bottle. I drained it. So these are the green olives. Now, some people like it whole. Kasi may nabibili rin naman na half-half. What I will do is para lang lumabas yung flavors niya. I'm gonna chop it a little bit. Para lang lumabas yung flavors ng green olives. And the black olives and the capers. Okay, so you know, we know that kailangan meron tayo yung mga nasa pantry natin. Yung mga staples natin. Yung laging merong laman yung ating pantry ng mga ingredients na to. So number one, I would suggest olive oil. Sa lahat talaga ng ating mga niluluto uh, sa bahay, we need a good oil, something that is packed in nutrients. So I never run out of my Doña Elena olive oil. I have pomas for frying. I have extra virgin oil for non-cooking for salads and sandwich. And, and then of course, I have the pure olive oil, the one that I use for pasta, for pasta sauces, okay? And then, I always have, of course, if I don't use my fresh tomatoes, I have canned tomatoes. And then I have canned tomatoes diced, steamed, whole, peeled, whatever. I have those. Or I use fresh tomatoes. I always have green olives, black olives. I have anchovies. I told you, I have all-purpose cream all the time. I have mushroom soup. Whatever makes it special. So this is the black olives now, okay? You can choose to serve it like or cook it too, but I want to cut it because I want its flavor to come out more. Just rough chop it. Again, wedding buo buo. Wedding rough chop. And then, of course, I have the anchovies. Every putanesca pasta sauce, talagang kailangan mo yung anchovies. That's what brings out its spice and its flavor. And I keep also some of its oil. I pour it also. Of course, lots of garlic. Okay, that's it. After I rough chop my green and my black olives, of course, yung capers maliliit na yan. Di na natin kailangan yung rough chop. This is how capers looks, right? Okay, and I'm ready. I'm gonna wash my hands now. Let's go. So I will start with my pure olive oil. Okay, again, it will make it tastier. 
It adds, the, the flavor of the olive oil brings so much taste to the dish, to the pasta. I use pure olive oil for that. See, I have extra virgin oil. I'm gonna drizzle that later. Okay, I'm gonna make the pot first. Now, why do I like puttanesca? It just satisfies my craving for maasim. And I think my kids know that, you know, in every restaurant, when everybody eats pasta, this is what I order. This or a very maasim na seafood pasta. When I tell my kids, most especially Julia, when I tell my kids, you know, I'm craving for something maasim. Sinasabi ko pa lang yan, tapos sabi ni Julia, oh, puttanesca. <laughs> Alam niyo na, na that that's what I mean. So, okay, I like a lot of garlic for this dish. Okay. Lots of garlic. Medium heat lang tayo. Okay, while I'm sauteing the garlic, I'm going to put my anchovies. Okay. Masarap ang anchovies. Lalo na pagluto na to. I mean, some people, they like it kung nasa mga pizza nila or whatever. But me, I like it best when it's cooked. Okay, so we'll do ko siya. Mmm, bango. <laughs> Garlic and anchovies. Kuya, you show how this is done here. Oops, yung meat. Alam mo, ubusin ko na anchovies, ha? Gusto ko siya. Okay. There. Sarap nito. This is great for entertaining guests. And this is very healthy, ah. Kasi for those who don't have yung mga canned tomato na sinasabi ko, na diced or all that, you can use fresh tomatoes. Lots of fresh tomatoes. Ba? Okay. Now, Leon, look at this. Now that you see, pinagsama ko na yung bawang at saka yung anchovies. I'm gonna put na yung red chili flakes. Para mag-flavor siya, ha? Okay? Red chili flakes, look. Cute yung spoon. Cute yung spoon. Naman naman ako. Gusto ko maarte pag nagluluto, eh. Gusto ko maarte. Okay. Yan. Okay. Of course, we're not going to burn our garlic. Okay, look at it. So, Leon, look at this. is how it looks like. I'm gonna put now my black olives that I roughly chop. I'm gonna put my green olives. Roughly chop too. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it with the garlic. You know what? I want to add more Donny Elena pure olive oil. More pa. Because medyo marami naman yung sinote ko. And I want to blend yung flavor ng pure olive oil with all the other olives. There. Look at this meal, okay? So it's gonna bring out the flavor na, no? Now I'm going to put my tomato sauce. Wow. Okay, now, since it is a Sunday and marami tayo today, I'm going to make it two cans of diced tomato sauce. But again, like what I said, you can use fresh tomatoes. I also use fresh tomatoes. But, magluluto pa ako niyang steak with my son-in-law, Happy. So, we need more time. That's why I use can. Okay? There. Oh, you see that, Leon? Ganda na ng colors, di ba? Now, I'm gonna add, of course, my pepper. Mamaya ko na titikman if I need to add salt because the anchovies is very salty, di ba? And I'm also gonna check later for taste if I need more chili flakes. Let's also cook healthy for our kids. I know sometimes we give in to what they want. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave that for a while to simmer for about 7 minutes. Okay, you know what? I can add some basil leaves para mag-add yung freshness. Ang sarap nito. You know, this is so craving satisfied. <laughs> yung pagkaas, yun nga. Ang sarap-sarap talaga. See? And because we roughly chopped the black olives and the green olives. Yeah, it's most flavorful. Siya. Okay, I'm going to simmer for a while and we will taste. Okay, we're gonna check how it looks after about seven minutes of letting it simmer. Actually, more pa. And look! Look at that, Leon! Sarap, diba? Okay, now I'm going to taste. Ha? So easy! My goodness! Kano katagal lang to? Luto in. So easy, Leon. Look, let's try it. Let's try the sauce. Bango. Sabi nila mabango hanggang sa sala. Mm-hmm. Ano man ako? Kula ng pepper. Pepper. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add more chili flakes for the kick. Okay. So, talaga pag fresh. And then, since it's almost done, imagine na una pa siya sa, sa noodles natin, no? I'm going to add my capers. I like a lot of capers. There you go. Sarap nito. Okay, you can use any kind of noodles. Um, you can use spaghetti noodles, but you know, yung stacolita is always um, linguine noodles. I like linguine noodles so much. There, okay. 
So we'll let it simmer again a bit. So easy. Okay. While it's still hot, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of so okay, just a little bit. There. Okay, see? Look at how beautiful the colors are, Kuya. Show how beautiful the colors. I think I'm gonna add some more basil. Add to the freshness. And now my cooked linguine. Let's pour it over here. Yeah. Okay, so for others, if you don't have anchovies and you don't want it that spicy, you know, you can also use tuna. So you can make it tuna putanesca. Or yeah, and you can just use the olives, the tomatoes, and the garlic. And of course the fresh it palato. Okay, there you go. Let's remove this. And there. Oh no, let's turn this off. Sorry. Look at this. Perfect. Look at that. There you go. Okay, you know who loves this also is Javi. So it's gonna be a good Sunday. We're gonna have steak and putanesca. Perfect combination. There you go. Okay, now wait, wait. I'm going to put Parmesan cheese. Okay, hold on. <laughs> So good. Look at that. It smells good. Somebody took over my putanesca. <laughs> Look at how tall he is. You look like Look at that. See, he took over. You see? You know what? We can turn it off now, no? I want to turn it off now. But uh, wait, I want to put Parmesan cheese quick. Can, okay. you, can you get the camera again? Okay, I'm going to put Parmesan cheese. Is that optional? This is optional, but of course, the Who doesn't like Parmesan cheese? cheese? There you go. There! You're here now. Javi! Hello. Oh my god, look what they're making. And Banga, look at it. Wait, don't tell him. You have to smell it. You have to smell it. from afar. I can smell it. I the house. What is it? What is it? I smell Putanesca. Yeah. Look at this. So you better step up your game with a steak. Look. Look at this. I can't compare. Look. The whole house smells like food. Okay, wait. Guess the food first. Guess what the food is. Something garlic. Oh my gosh, what else? Millie! What smell is garlic? Ooh. What else? Like, just what else? Just guess. Okay, you're good. Okay, we're good. Okay, Can Millie okay, say okay. hi? Cook the steak now. Oh uh, yeah, we're cooking this. Hi, my beauty. Hi, my beauty. Let's see uh, if it works, huh? <laughs> I cannot do it that way. Look at this beauty. Hi, Aries. Oh, show my diamond Aries. Hi. Look at Aries with her dress. Did you show her? They're all up? wearing a dress. Smell. Smell the potanesca. Yeah. Maybe, I'm gonna make I mean, the thing oh. I made is Come here, darling. Come here. Hi. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Wait, Mr. Jay. Someone's Hello. happy. Eric is happy that Millie Vanilli is here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna put the toppings here. You see? You see? I know. Danny, you know what I use? Donya Elena. Donya Elena. Pure olive oil. There you go. You see that? Ang sarap talaga nito. I promise you. And you know what's good with this? When you have guests, all you have to do is this. Garlic bread. Oh my goodness. Garlic bread. No. Mashed potato. No, no. <laughs> oh yeah. Talaga man lahat ng bagay sa'yo ay my mashed potato. Okay, now. Okay, now it's done. Optional is your chili flakes. I'm just going to put. And then let's put naman konting parsley. Let's garnish it. Something yeah. I have to learn. How to make it look presentable. How to plate. How to plate. There you go, right? Okay. I have a tip for everybody. Okay. Yeah, I have different flavors of olive oil. Pomas, pure and extra virgin oil. I'm just gonna add to its freshness, okay? This is what I do when I have fried fish or adobo or anything fried. Para haba siyang bagong prito siya, I will drizzle it with extra virgin oil. Konti lang gamotod. Danny, look at this. Yeah. So to add to the freshness, look at that. You see, para unang bite mo. Ooh, mm. fresh. There. That's it. There you go. And then our Putanesca is done. Javi is cooking the steak. He makes the best steak. That's why we wait for him. I'm if hijacking the show. This is my cooking show. This is Javi's cooking show. You know, Danny should be the one that's behind the camera for now on. <laughs> And then you should teach them your dishes. I'll take a cover photo. Javi was able to cook steak. We got the steak from Laika. Thank you, Laika. Laika Gems, you could buy so much, like restaurants. And we were able to get steak. Thank you, Laika. Thank you. Okay, here's our pasta putanesca. 
Javi made truffle fried rice. Look at how. Okay, you have to smell it because it's so sarap talaga eh. And there's oh sorry and steak. Look at that. Yay! Oh, that was just close. Looks good. Okay. Okay, you're you're the one who talaga who patronizes my puttanesca. Tayo lang may may paborito nito. Puttanesca eater talaga. It tastes like summer. It tastes like summer, yeah. But I put basil also. Mm -hmm. So another Sunday dish for everybody. Thank you for watching and joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye. Bye.